Welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Jill. I'm Sean. And today we're actually going to work on Ben. Uh, it's Diesel's Bronco, Big Ben. Um, so in a previous video, we had cat skins recover all the seats on the inside. That's for our comfort. Now, Diesel, we wanted to do something for him. And right now, with what's in there, it's just that carpet type material, almost like a felt. It's not that it's not comfortable, it's there's Very no grip. Slippery. So no matter how slow or how fast I go, he slides a little bit. And even when I slowly take off, he slides back. We wanted to give some kind of grip. Now, most vehicles have this type of interior in the back, uh, most Broncos, except for the black diamond. Anything with the marine grade vinyl has, has like the, uh, plastic or, or rubber rubberized. floor but the back of the seat this right here is always the same for whatever reason they made a washout interior all except for the back of the back seat i don't know is i don't know I, I now you would hear about me gripe on the black diamond when we um when i did all three interiors when this one had cloth I did a review on all three of them in which I thought was best. And I pointed out the back of the back seat on the Black Diamond is carpeted. And it's the stupidest thing. You spray out the floor or you spray out the seats, everything, except for the back of the back seat. Now, we previously purchased this right here. So this right here is from Ford. It's an accessory thing from Ford. It's to cover up this portion of it in case you want to put something on here and you want to wipe it out or whatever. It's almost like a weather tech, weather tech type flooring, mm -hmm. uh, but it's Ford version of it. Pretty inexpensive. It wasn't that much. I can't remember how much it was, so don't quote me on it. It was under $200. I know that. Um, now, we have been waiting to find out or figure out a solution for the back of the back seat. Here he's fine. It's just once he's up there, he slides. A company called Mabbit, I hope I pronounce it right, M-A-B-B-E-T-T, -T, came out with a absolutely wonderful solution for this. And we'll show you that in just a second. But it's not just the back. It's also the back of the seat. this right here, the part that folds down and the back of the seat. So it's all one kind of cohesive unit. Um, it does come in different sections. You have to purchase the flooring here and then the back of the back seat separately. Still super inexpensive. And I believe the cost of that is cheaper than buying this mat on itself. So that's pretty good. That's pretty, that's pretty damn good. So we'll go ahead and we'll show you exactly what it is piece by piece. First, we'll uh, take out this piece because I don't need this anymore. Bye. Yeah, we'll put it in another Bronco. <laughs> yeah, good thing I have multiple. So first off, this is what we're looking at. This is for the back of the the back of the cargo area right here. Now, the it's, unique thing about this, it really has some high sides and it's very grippy. I have a giant hornet on me or wasp. Come on. Yeah, tell your girlfriend okay. to go away. Oh, she's in the car. Anyways, don't worry about the wasp in the back. She's fine. Oh, she's a mud dauber. She ain't gonna do nothing. Never yeah. mind. So the one thing with this is it has these little cutouts right here. The biggest gripe I had about the, the original one is if you wanted to tie something down, you couldn't, you had to remove it completely. This gives you an option to cut this out so you can lift it up when you want to utilize the- The, the hooks, the, the hooks. tether yeah. hooks. The tow hooks or yeah, the tether hooks. Now it's important to us because this is going to be this is going to be our dog carrier. Dog carrier. So we're going to end up putting a dog carrier in the back of it and strapping it down to those hooks. We don't want it sliding around to injure the puppies or injure diesel or anything like that. We want to make sure it's secure. And it's as simple as just throwing it in, which we'll do right now. Ta-da! 
<laughs> pretty simple. I mean, it's it's not that hard. Um, one person the, can do this. <laughs> the one thing is, it does come folded, so the best bet is to uh, put it out in your car, and the heat from the outside will actually make, make it, it lay like, flat. Because it, it did, it came like folded in fours, so we had to unfold it, and it was like all kind of wonked out. So yeah. we just put it in the black diamond. Cause why not put it in the hottest car? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> it's all laid black. flat. Um, now, as you can see, it goes all the way to the very back. And I'll show you, once we get all of it in there, we'll show you exactly how it, how it goes together. Now, the other pieces I'll pull out of the car, at least for the bottom portion. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and lay down the seats to make it a little bit easier for install. There you go. So as you can see, these are the back portions. So you have the holes right here, which go for your child's safety seat tethers. It also goes for Diesel's harness. Now he has a harness on and he has a tether that hooks up to the bottom part of his harness. This right here is where it hooks onto. So in case of an accident or he falls, he doesn't go sliding all over the place. He's hooked on for when we go. So whenever you see us driving around, you'll see like his harness and you'll see like a, a, a tether. tether on the bottom of it. That's what that is to keep him from going anywhere, keep him safe. These are actually pretty nice. They match the style and- They have Velcro on the back. Yeah. That so stick it on there and they don't go anywhere. Yeah, they, they won't move. Um, they, they do stick pretty good. They were in the black diamond for a little bit. And the notches for the, the handle to lower your seats. Yep, Shall and then right obviously the hinges on the side. Yeah. So we have those, throw those in real quick. I can't wait to take him for a ride on this, see how he does. Now these are self-explanatory. Yeah, um, they, they do go one way. So as you can tell, maybe you can't, this right here hinges right there. So you have a majority of it that stays up. Yeah. And the bottom of it right here, which you can tell has little ridges in it, that's the part that's going to go towards the rear of the car so you can hinge the thing up. So and we'll throw those in. Again, they do have to Velcro on the back. Now the good thing with this is you can put this back up and it stays Velcroed on. How long it stays Velcroed on, I don't know, but it does stay Velcroed up there pretty well but ours is usually always, always down anyways. So, because this is his domain. This is his seat belt. So it does have a stretch to it, but not much, but this is what we were talking about for the tether. Yeah. So we'll go get a uh, diesel ready and we'll, we'll take, take him, him for, for a drive ride. and show you how he, how he does. handles it. Hopefully it handles it pretty good. There is ridges in the back of this, which is pretty nice, so. That way his claws can kind of like grab it and he can stay put, you know. Okay, so Diesel's gonna jump in his car. Come on. Come on, boy. Good there you go. boy. All the way up there. Just tether him down. There you go. Hot. Let's get the AC running. How you doing? We'll see find how out. He does. Yeah, we'll see how he does. Somebody moved my seat. She drove the uh, stick shift yesterday. I checked all over, no dents. But she did just let it go in first gear until she pulled it out of the spot where I needed to mow. So congratulations for your first drive unaccompanied. Oh. Well, watch out, I'll take the first, first spin gear. around the block. Gotta help our neighbors. <laughs> So this gives them some type of this gives them some type of grip 
that's on there right now because it has ridges on it and they're pretty deep it's not just smooth rubber so it gives them something to grab a hold of which is something we we're they trying to figure them. out yeah so his claws can grab a hold of so that's something we were trying to figure out from before uh so so far so good he would uh slide back a little bit even with just us driving out of the driveway Now we're not going to gun it or anything like that. We want to make sure that he's safe. We don't do that. We're not going to try to make him slip. We just know from the very beginning he would slip on this stuff. So. Usually he doesn't lay down. He's too busy sliding around. Mm -hmm. So when he lays down like this, it makes it even worse with just the carpet. He'll actually slide all the way to the back until the leash or the, the harness actually catches from him uh, going all the way back to the very back. So. Okay, so we're back. We went for a test drive. I uh, took him to a couple places we normally go to. And I'll tell you what, I am really impressed with the fact that he has a lot of grip in this. Now we'll show you kind of the, how everything is laid out after this, but he did not slip once. Uh, loved it, laid down, was comfortable, didn't worry about laying down and then sliding all the way to the back. He uh, did pretty good. Diesel, come here. How do you like it? How do you like it? Everybody's been wondering where you've been. You're there. Mm -hmm. This is your Bronco. So if you guys look, it does have a really, really nice texture. Even in here, there's a lot of areas where he can grip onto, as well as this stuff right here he can grip. And on the back of that is no different. It goes all the way up to the very front. And it's easily cleaned up when he drools all over the place from it being hot, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, we hope you like this. Uh, we found this from somebody else who told us. Uh, we saw it before. We never really inquired into it anymore until we saw the back portion. And I think one of the websites, it was saying that the back portion for the back of the seats were coming up. They weren't available just yet. I will leave the links for everything down below. It will be the first link and what we used. Uh, it will be the, it will be the, it will be the first link in what we used. Um, and Diesel loves it. Uh, he'll more rides, more comfortable rides for him. So again, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and hope to see you next video. But before we do, the winner of the giveaway is Diesel. Who is it? We know, wait till after this.